Hello and welcome to my Christmas tutorial. Today we are going to create a simple Christmas candy cane pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. Open Illustrator and create a new artboard. I'm going to use 500 by 500 pixels. Click Create to make your artwork. Select the ellipse tool, remove fill and set a stroke color. Hold down Alt and Shift keys to make it perfect and draw a circle. 140 pixels will be enough. Make sure that align stroke set to center and enter a stroke about 30, maybe even 40. Select a scissors tool, you can find it under the eraser tool. Click here and here. Make sure this path is selected and press delete on the keyboard. Select this path and go to stroke options to set round caps. Select the pen tool, click on the anchor point, press shift to get a straight line Go down and click here. On this step I want to increase the stroke to 50. Now go to Object, Expand Fill and Stroke. Then press Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in front. Click on this icon to isolate selected object. Select the Ellipse tool. Hold down Alt and Shift keys to make it perfect and draw a circle. Remove fill and set a red stroke. Choose Scissors tool again and click on these two points. Select this object and delete it. Select this semicircle and go to Effect, Distort and Transform. Check Preview and make 6 copies. Rotate minus 30 and move 6 pixels horizontal and minus 38 pixels vertical. Depends on the size and thickness of your candy cane, these values may vary and you can adjust them yourself. Now go to Object, Expand Appearance and then Object Ungroup. Select this semicircle and go to Effect, Distort and Transform. Check Preview button and make 8 copies. Move 38 pixels vertical. Even 6 copies would be enough. Click OK. Then again go to Object Expand Appearance. Select all elements and go to Window Pathfinder. And choose Divide icon. Select the Direct Selection tool and make selection one by one holding Shift. And recolor them. Use Magic Wand tool to select black shapes and recolor them too. Press this icon to leave isolation mode. You can stop at this moment and start to create a pattern. I left a time code, but I want to add some shading on my candy cane. Select another candy cane copy in the layers panel and enter isolation mode. Select it and go to Edit Copy, Edit Paste in front. Select one copy, hold Alt key and move here. In the layers panel select two shapes holding Shift, go to Pathfinder and click on the icon minus front. Change the fill color to white. Go to Opacity and set it for example to 30%. Select another copy, hold Alt key and move left. Select two shapes and go to Pathfinder and again click on the minus front icon. Set opacity to 20%. And now leave isolation mode. On the layers panel select Candy Cane Group, right click, arrange, send to back. Select all, right click, group. So now our candy cane is ready. Now it's time to create a pattern. I will create a pattern on the current artboard. So I will make my candy cane smaller by holding down Shift and Alt keys and also a little bit rotated. Select the candy cane and go to Object Pattern Make. Here you can see the pattern options. Let's give a name to our pattern – Candy Cane. Select the tile tab hex by column and enter 180 pixels width and high. Click Done to save new pattern. Now we have our new candy cane pattern in the swatches panel. You can open it from window, swatches. Select the rectangle tool, 
Into the size of your artboard, align it to center and choose our new pattern from the swatches panel. Maybe the items in the pattern itself feels too big and I want to appear it smaller. Press Object Transform Scale. Make sure that the transform object is unchecked and preview is on. And I want to come down to 80% and you can check your preview on and off to see how your pattern looks like smaller. And the last step I want to add a background. Select the rectangle tool, choose the color and align it. Right click, arrange, send to back. Congrats, we are done! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. May this new year adorn your life with many beautiful things and sweet memories to cherish forever. See you in the next year. Goodbye.